Good morning everyone! So for today's video, I wanted to do a sit down, get ready with me, trying a bunch of new products. So essentially it's kind of like a full face of new makeup or products I've been wanting to try. And I haven't done one of these in a while so I thought it would be fun because I feel like I've got a lot of really exciting products here that you guys might be interested in as well. So without much further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. So first things first, what I'm going to try is this Drunk Elephant Unbrush Your Physical Daily Defense Protection Physique. Oh, Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. <laughs> it's a huge tube of it. Ooh, weird, it's kind of like chunky. So I had extractions done recently. You can kind of see them on my skin a little bit. Well, now you can't because I covered my face in sunscreen. But I have a couple like marks here on my face, one here on the side, because um, I don't know if you guys get those too, but sometimes when you get extractions done, some of them get a little angry. But I've definitely tried uh, sunscreens that rub in a little bit easier than a physical sunscreens, but you know when you try something new and you're not necessarily the biggest fan, but you're like, but everyone else loves this, so I need to figure out why everyone loves this. That's kind of how I feel with this, because it had the little allure sticker too. It's kind of what intrigued me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let that set on my skin and see if it goes down anymore, so don't mind me over here with my little mask on. So the next thing I am going to use is from Hourglass. These are, I think these are new, these are their new brow products. Um, this one is the Brow Sculpting Pencil. I'm going to be using the shame, shame, <laughs> shade, Warm Brunette. You know what? I need to get my eyebrows microbladed again, I think. I kind of want to do it soon, but oh, I don't know if I have like the time in my schedule. Because if you guys watched the video, I made a whole thing about my experience getting my eyebrows microbladed. Number one, I love them. I would totally do it again. It's just, it just took like 10 days for my eyebrows to look normal. I don't know, brow products for me, I always, and this is gonna sound terrible, there are some that I really like that are more expensive, but there are also a lot of really good drugstore eyebrow products. I know Hourglass is a little bit more pricey and I didn't see anything like spectacular. Um, did in the good job, but I definitely think that they are just as good as uh, eyebrow products out there on the market. This is the Pony Effect Unlimited Cream Shadow and this is in hashtag open-minded. I've been really liking her pot shadows. Did that whole pony effect makeup. I guess it's not a tutorial, but just talking about the products because I had picked up a bunch. So I will put that in the description box below if you're curious about checking out some other pony effect products I've tried. This is exciting. So this is the new Urban Decay Back Talk Palette. This is cool because it has the blushers, what is this? Blusher highlighters on one side, and then here it has shadows in a really pretty color family, like a plum color family. This is a little distracting because the mirror sits in between the two and it's magnetized. I don't know, it's just kind of a different feature I've never seen in a palette. I don't know what I think about it, but whatever. <laughs> so first I'm going to take the shade Bare right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all over my lid. Next, I think I'm going to try this back top color here in the middle, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that into my crease. I'm usually a big fan of putting matte colors into my crease, I just think it's a flattering look. I'm gonna put this attitude color, which is kind of this coppery cranberry color, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the center of my lid. I just think that'd be like a very nice accent. And then of course I'm going to take the darkest color in the palette which is 180 here at the end and I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the outer V. And then I think last but not least I'm going to take this WTF which is this warm matte brown color here and I'm going to go ahead and blend that under my lower lash line. Nice! Okay! So that's kind of what I have put together from this palette. I think I will be coming back to this because I do want to try some of the cheek colors out. I'm also going to include swatches right here of all of the other colors so you can just see what the swatches look like next to each other and kind of the quality of the eyeshadows themselves. Next I'm going to be using this Beauty by Pop Sugar, this online liquid eyeline. I just got a bunch of new makeup from this Beauty by Pop Sugar so I'm curious to try it. How weird. Okay. So, I have this one from, like I said, the Beauty by Pop Sugar. That's in the color MVP or black. 
But I was also gonna try these out as well. These are from Nude Sticks. But what's funny, and I actually didn't even realize this before I filmed, but these have all the same applicators. It's like a rolly ball here at the end, if you can see that little tiny thing. Look how funny, they're literally the exact same. And I had no idea, because I literally just grabbed the box. Whoa, oh, I'm getting a little crazy. This is hard. It just keeps getting thicker and thicker. <laughs> oh gosh, I really, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, you can kind of flick it, but it definitely got like messy. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> my, my cat wings are definitely not symmetrical. But we're gonna roll with it because I don't wanna keep drawing and drawing and drawing and then just end up covering my whole eyelid. Inliner, do you wanna try the nude stick one? The shade that I'm gonna be trying is the shade Golden Rose, because it looks very pretty. Ooh, pretty. I like that. Okay, the color is gorgeous. And to be honest, um, you know what? I don't wanna throw this out there and create some kind of conspiracy theory, but I do think it's kind of funny that it's literally like the same exact package, formatting, and kind of formula. So I'm also gonna be using the mascara from Beauty by Pop Sugar. So I'll be using thick side on the top and then the thin side on the bottom lashes. Lashes. Can't talk and I had to burp. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to be using is a somewhat new Korean cushion foundation. I haven't tried it yet, it came out last year so it's new to me specifically, and that is the Laneige Powder Fit Cushion. I of course got mine in number 23 sand, and this launched, I want to say like towards the end of last year, or like in the fall of last year, as you can see, brand spanking new cushion. And it does have the mesh formatting for the cushion itself. I've been pushing in there, you can see. It's a little bit thicker in consistency, so it's not like overwhelming the air puff with cushion foundation, which is nice. Ooh, this is light on my skin, which I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if I'm just getting tanner and I'm not noticing, but usually number 23 for Laneige cushion foundations are okay. This seems really light though. I mean, that sunscreen <laughs> also made me look pretty light, but I'll definitely have to test this out a little bit more to get a true review on it, because like I said, I don't like to just write things off. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Not match. If you guys want me to actually do a specific review on this Laneige, powder fit cushion, do let me know because this is just kind of a preliminary test of it. So what I am actually gonna do is I'm going to use this Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder to kind of color correct my foundation because obviously this is a bit too light and I'm just gonna go ahead and pack, pat it onto my skin so I don't disturb any of the makeup on my skin. So now that I am finished with my face makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my blush. I think I'm just gonna go for the safe bet in the palette and try out this MAC Mauve color. This color is called Double Take, and again, I'm using that Urban Decay Back Talk palette. And to try out a different product, I'm gonna go ahead and try these new NARS highlighting powders. Um, I got sent, I believe these are all the colors, so I'm just gonna pick one, of course. Also, another purpose of me doing these trying new products, get ready with me, is you guys see a lot of the new products out there on the market. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth review or pictures and swatches and things like that, let me know in the comment section down below and I can gauge your interest. I'm gonna use Fort de France because it looks like that's a pretty champagne-y, safe highlight color. Oh, that looks pretty. These are very finely milled. This seems really nice. And they have some really interesting colors here. Like they have like gold. That one's called Ibiza. This one kind of looks different. It's kind of like a warm coppery one. 
and that's in Maldives. So last but not least, I of course have to do my lips and I am going to be trying out these new products from Shui Mora. These are the Lax Supreme and the concept behind these are they're supposed to be very long wearing, highly pigmented, comfortable to wear, lack for your lips. There are 12 shades of these Lac Supremes and I'm just going to be showing you guys a couple of my favorites in this video but I did do a full swatching little quick video on my Instagram so if you guys want to see all the swatches on my lips head over there I'll link it down below so you guys can see what the swatches look like but again just to show you guys some of my favorites I love this shade BG04 and just to apply it on for you guys so look how cool these applicators are you guys see that? It's like a little foot. That little foot makes it really easy to apply these on. I have been kind of messing around with these a bit. One thing I really like about these is they're comfortable to wear, not sticky, but there's something about them that kind of feels like they're a moisturizing type of lacquer and it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip or slide around because it's a little bit of a thicker formula. So you can see what that one looks like. So gorgeous. Another shade that I love is WN04. And this is a very wearable plum color. You guys know me. I'm a big fan of the plum family when it comes to lip colors. Also, if you guys are curious about if these stain, they do leave a little bit of a tint behind, especially some of the darker colors. And I will go ahead and insert uh, shots of all the shades on my arm and then when I wipe it off so you guys can see how they stain. And then to show you guys a brighter color that I like, this one's OR01 and it's a beautiful coral oh, color. So yeah, just to show you guys a couple of those shades I've been loving because I just love the formulation of those, they're so comfortable and juicy. Alright guys, I hope you had fun just sitting down with me, playing with makeup for this Get Ready With Me. As I always do, I will put in the description box all the links of where you can pick up these products. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!